Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today we're gonna to talk about health disparities and COVID-19. Why are more African-Americans dying from this disease? This recent pandemic has shed a light on a dark spot in American healthcare. In Chicago, more than 50% of cases and nearly 70% of deaths with COVID-19 involve black individuals, although they only make up 30% of the population. And I don't think it's just the African-American community that is suffering, but also the Hispanic community. And I would guess that as we gather more data, the Native American community will also suffer, as well as the poor in America. These underrepresented minorities are developing COVID-19 infection more frequently and dying more frequently. Well, why? Why is that happening? These populations tend to be less healthy, have higher rates of hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and obesity because they're less likely to receive routine medical care. These patients are underinsured or completely uninsured they worry about the cost of visits and co-pays, and they often can't pay for routine medication. Overall, they have low health literacy and often have difficulty advocating for themselves within the healthcare system. They also tend to live in high housing density, meaning that it's very difficult for them to maintain six, six feet social distancing, and they often have poor access to healthy foods. These patients are often in essential work, like in the food industry and transportation industry which limits their ability to stay at home and continue to get a paycheck. Well, what do we do about this? What's to be done? In a wonderful JAMA article by Dr. William Owen, he beautifully outlines two things that can be done now. First, he recommends mandating that the collection and reporting of COVID-19 cases and outcomes be stratified by race, ethnicity, sex, socioeconomic status, and community health status in all states. Second, he recommends a multilingual targeted public service announcement for minority communities about COVID-19. Just simply disseminating information in someone's native tongue can be very beneficial and can mean gathering information in a context and in a way that they understand. Underinsured and uninsured patients are very close to my heart. I've been working at a community clinic since 2006, and I have seen firsthand healthcare disparity in America. My recommendations going forward include increasing awareness of racial and ethnic disparities in healthcare. Just by simply increasing physicians' awareness of disparities has been shown to be helpful in their treatment of underrepresented minorities. I'm also very saddened and burdened by our healthcare system and an insurance payer system that doesn't allow ongoing patient-doctor relationships over years and years. There's so many of my patients that I get to know over a year or two, and then they're lost because they can't continue to see me because their insurance has have changed. That's such a tragedy. The doctor-patient relationship is one of the most important relationships for helping someone to stay healthy. It's also important that all clinics have interpretation services available and something as simple as placing clinics on bus lines could be helpful. At my clinic, we have multidisciplinary teams that include nurse navigators, social workers, and pharmacy assistance programs to help these patients. And that's been very, very successful. At the end of the day, the COVID-19 epidemic shouldn't be wasted. We should use this time to show and spotlight the healthcare disparities that are in the United States and push and advocate to make this better. Thanks again for joining me.